Uh, I'm in Frumusani, a community about 30 minutes outside of Bucharest in Romania. Uh, in this particular classroom, uh, the students are learning mathematics. Uh, the vast majority of the students in this classroom are from the Roma community. You know, I, I was uh, visiting with uh, leaders in this country, and Romania has made uh, tremendous progress from being uh, outside of the European Union. They joined the European Union in 2007, and uh, economic growth has uh, been very steady, and the leaders here have made a huge commitment to education. We came to the school specifically to look at the importance of investing in education uh, in order to build the foundations for future economic growth. I was very impressed with the commitment of the Minister of Education, of the Prime Minister and the President in making these kinds of investments. And it's uh, all the more poignant in this community where there's a large Roma population. You know, the access of the Roma community to education has been a major issue for a very, very long time. And uh, in this particular community, uh, many more of the Roma students uh, are in school, but there's a long way to go. Uh, school performance rates are not where they should be. Uh, completion rates are not where they should be. And the point that I make over and over and over again to ministers of finance and to, and to uh, heads of state is that investing in education at the primary, secondary, and even tertiary level is not simply an, ex an expense. It's one of the vital investments that any country can make in future economic growth. In this community, where there are struggles with a legacy of racism against the Roma, where there are legacies of, uh, of uh, inadequate access to education, they're making strides, but the World Bank Group has a very strong role to play in improving educational systems so that children are actually learning and not just in school.